Hey there, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So I got inspired to make this video by a YouTuber that promotes one meal a day known as Gonzalo. And he asked me, I have a lot of people that ask me about eating one meal a day and a vegan diet, which video can I point them to? And I thought, well actually, I've never made any specific video talking about how to succeed with a vegan diet in combination with a one meal a day diet, which is an intermittent fasting diet where you just eat once a day. So yeah, in this video, I'm gonna tell you how you can succeed long term with eating one meal a day on a vegan diet. To clear up any confusion for anyone that wants to eat a vegan diet with their one meal a day diet journey. And yeah, it can be easy done long term, but you need to be doing it correctly to make it work the best for you and give you the most lots of state of health in mind and body and energy levels and hormonal production and the whole host of other benefits that you can get from eating one meal a day. So, what you need to be making sure of is number one, that you're eating sufficient calories. And what I say is a lot of vegan foods are a lot lower in calories in comparison to animal-based foods and things such as meat. So you will need to eat a much larger quantity of food to get as many calories on someone that's on a meat-based diet. So yeah, make sure that you are eating as many calories as you possibly can within one sitting until you're completely full and satiated. And what I say is, the only times that I failed on a vegan diet in combination with a one meal a day is when I've been under eating on calories. If we eat around 1,500 calories, at least for me, I'm very busy and very active. I train in calisthenics very intensely. I have a lot going on in my life. I run multiple businesses. I've just got a very busy lifestyle. So yeah, for me, eating like a low amount of calories like that, my hunger just gets really, really intense. And I feel like I need to eat multiple meals within a day. And there's some times that I've had to in the past due to majorly calorie restricting. And I find that I just don't feel as optimal as I could with eating one meal a day. And that is how I found I could sustain eating one meal a day long term on a vegan diet. Once I started eating lots and lots and lots of calories, around 3000 calories for my one meal. But if you're not as active, then you don't need to eat as much as me. Second thing you need to be doing is making sure you're getting all of the nutrients that you need. Because if you're not getting all of the vitamins and minerals and amino acids and all of these other phytonutrients, which are more known as micronutrients, then long term you can run into nutritional deficiencies and then you're not going to feel as good, your hunger is going to go through the roof because when you end up with nutritional deficiencies, your hunger will start to massively increase and you'll want to eat all types of different foods and it will make it really hard to just eat one meal a day because your body's just going to want you to eat loads of meals throughout the day. So you want to be making sure that you're eating the broadest spectrum of nutrient dense foods which I would call more plant-based whole foods, which are plant foods that are more in their natural form, that have not been refined at all. Because I don't mind eating like non-plant-based whole foods, but the majority of the time for me and other people, you want to be basing the most of your foods on your one meal a day diet journey with a vegan diet with natural foods because they're high in fiber, high in water contents, so they're gonna give you the best digestion, the best health in mind and body holistically. They're also full of an abundance of nutrients, but if you're just eating mostly all of the time, refined, processed, garbage, junk, vegan food, then you're just gonna be lacking so many of the beneficial nutrients that you need to sustain a one meal a day diet long term on a vegan diet. So what I would recommend is taking some specific supplements. So the first one is taking the most highest quality multi-nutrient supplement that has the most bioavailable form of each nutrient contained within it and the broadest spectrum of nutrients with nothing toxic added to it. And most of the supplements on the market are complete garbage. They do not contain the most bioavailable form of each nutrient. For example, a lot of calcium supplements contain chalk as the calcium supplement, also known as calcium carbonate. You cannot utilize that. You need something like calcium orotate or calcium citrate to actually utilize it and get the full benefits from it. And this is the same issue with so many other nutrients that in supplements, they are just complete garbage forms that your body can hardly utilize or not utilize and absorb at all. 
So yeah, what I do is put some links down below for UK, US and worldwide suppliers that sell the most highest quality multi-nutrient supplement in the world. It isn't the cheapest, but you get what you pay for. And another supplement you want to be taking is an EPA and DHA omega-3 microalgae supplement because a vegan diet is normally very, very high in omega-6, very low in omega-3, and short-term and long-term it has devastating negative health consequences and it causes chronic inflammation throughout the whole gut, body, and brain. So this is why a lot of people on any vegan diet, whether they're eating one meal a day or not, end up with so many health issues long-term because of the chronic inflammation that is being induced within the whole body and brain due to being excessively high in omega-6 and low in omega-3. So with that supplement, I put a link down below for that. And with the multi-nutrient supplement, I recommend taking six of the capsules once a day with your one meal. Take this EPA and DHA with your meal as well, because otherwise you will not absorb it fully. And also the other supplements that I would recommend is Lugol's Iodine, taking 12.5 milligrams of that. You can take that once in the morning on an empty stomach in water. Or if you don't like the taste of it, you can put it in an empty vegetable cellulose capsule and I'll put links down below for them and this will not break out of fasting state when you take it in the morning. And yeah, pretty much everyone on all type of diets are low in iodine. You'll find no multinutrient supplement that has adequate amounts of iodine to give your body all of the iodine that it needs and it's key for your thyroid function. And so many people have thyroid issues and if your thyroid is not being supplied with adequate amounts of iodine on a regular basis, it cannot naturally produce thyroxine which is key for regulating your metabolism and giving you the best weight loss benefits and a whole host of other hormonal and sleep benefits and mood benefits as well. And last but not least, I would also recommend taking an amino acid blend that has all of the different essential amino acids in that the body cannot create. And I'd also recommend taking that with your one meal. Never take amino acids out of a fasted state because it can raise insulin and break you out of a fasted state and stop you from getting the full benefits of eating one meal a day. So yeah, by making sure you're taking all them, you make sure that you're getting all of the different nutrients that you need alongside the diet that you're eating. And you cannot rely on a diet alone because most foods, even plant foods, are so low in so many nutrients due to soil depletion, irradiation of food, and so many other different things as well. And so many people are chronically deficient whether they're on a vegan diet or not. So yeah, this is gonna help you sustain a vegan diet long term in combination with one meal a day and give you the most optimal set of health in mind and body holistically short term and long term. Term. And number three, as with anyone on any diet of one meal a day, make sure that you're very well hydrated throughout the day. Avoid tap water at all costs. It is pure, toxic, poisonous water. The only pure water in the world is distilled water. It's H2O with nothing added to it. And if you're someone that's interested in this, because it is literally the best water in the world that has nothing toxic in it whatsoever. It removes all heavy metals and radiation and pesticides and herbicides and everything else that's found in tap water and other types of water. And it also naturally detoxifies the body and it hydrates the body more than any other water. And it's been shown to increase the nutrient absorption from food and supplements that you're consuming. And what I do is I put some links down below for suppliers that can deliver the most highest quality mega home water distiller to your door in case you cannot get distilled water in your area, which I know a lot of people can't. So yeah, make sure you stay well hydrated throughout the day because this is gonna help suppress your appetite and make you feel full throughout the day and it's gonna help your body to cleanse out all of the different things that is removing that are not good for your body and that are toxic whilst you're in that fasted state and your body's doing that internal house cleaning. And number four, which you wanna try and do this to the best of your ability, I know every day it doesn't work for me, so yeah, just do the best that I try to every single day. But if you wanna get the full benefits, you wanna be ideally fasting at least 23 hours a day and eating for a one hour window. But like I said, there's times for me in my busy schedule, sometimes I fast longer, sometimes shorter, and I sometimes eat longer, dependent on so many different things. So yeah, I know what is the best, and I tried to stick to it, but sometimes it doesn't work out that way. So yeah, you just can do the same as well. And the reason why you wanna try and stick to 23 hours of fasting and one hour of eating 
is that it's just going to optimize all of the different amazing benefits such as testosterone production, human growth hormone production, the effects of autophagy, insulin being low, it's going to help improve your insulin sensitivity even more. It's going to get your body to produce more glucagon, which is key for allowing your body to burn its own body fat as fuel. And it's going to maximize your weight loss benefits and all these other different benefits as well. And obviously eating for an hour window, that's such a short duration of time. So by eating for that short duration of time, you're maximizing the length that you can fast for every single day. Number five, do not consume anything that has calories in, whether it's a plant-based protein, powder, juice, smoothie, or anything else that has any calories in it whatsoever because it will break you out of a fasted state. And I see time and time again, there's a lot of people that think they can drink juice, for example, and then they wonder why they're not getting the full benefits of one meal a day, and then they ask me, is this okay? And I'm like, no, that is not a good idea at all. You can drink apple cider vinegar, black coffee, you can even consume a lot of different sweeteners, you can consume a little bit of lemon juice in water or lime juice, tea, herbal teas, no fruit teas whatsoever. They will break out of a fasted state. But yeah, that's just something to be very, very mindful of because you don't want to be sabotaging your one meal a day intermittent fasting diet journey thinking you're getting all the benefits when you're not because you're consuming certain liquids or things that contain calories that are breaking you out of that fasted state. And last but not least, this is people that want to optimize their weight loss benefits when they're eating a vegan diet in combination with a one meal a day diet. And that is you want to be making sure that you are exercising whilst you're in the fasted state. Because doing this makes all the benefits of daily intermittent fasting get maximized and increases the benefits so much more. So for example, when you do fasting, in an intermittent fasted state. It's gonna get your body to burn more body fat as fuel. It's gonna make testosterone go higher. It's gonna make insulin go low. It's gonna make human growth hormone go even higher and all these other different amazing benefits that are gonna increase your muscle mass as much as possible, increase your recovery time from fitness, give you a whole host of amazing benefits and rapidly burn your body fat even more. And if you want to get the greatest weight loss benefits with training, you either want to do some specific intense bodybuilding training or calisthenics training or high intensity interval training. I have calisthenics workout videos on my channel for beginners and people that are advanced. You can check them out on my channel if you want to look into them and do them. And yeah, you're just going to find by combining intermittent fasting with your one meal day diet journey on a vegan diet in combination with training in that fasted state, you are just going to get even faster, rapid weight loss Benefits. And I know a lot of people, well, pretty much everyone, wants to get the greatest weight loss benefits in the shortest period of time. So this is one way that's going to help you do that on your one meal a day diet journey. And one last thing I'll speak about is you do not need to be concerned about losing muscle. If you're someone that wants a bodybuilding physique with the one meal a day diet journey in combination with a vegan diet, then train like a bodybuilder and eat as much food as you can. But if you want a calisthenics body like myself, then just continue doing the calisthenics training really, really hard on a regular basis in combination with this diet and you'll get the gains you want. And as you see, I have relatively well-defined muscles. I don't have huge muscles because I'm not a bodybuilder. I have quite visible abs. They're not best in this lighting. And yeah, you see my triceps quite well. Um, my chest is doing all right as well. Just good shoulders. And I'll give you a quick show of my back as well. So yeah, it makes me keep a very, very low body fat percentage whilst giving me the most defined muscles combining one meal a day on a vegan diet where I eat mostly whole plant-based foods the majority of the time. So yeah, that's it for this video. If you have any questions for me, as always, leave them down below and I get back to you as soon as possible. If you like the video, like it down below, give us a thumbs up and please share this video with anyone that you think We'd love to learn about how they can succeed on a vegan diet in combination with a one meal a day diet. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more of vegan intermittent fasting videos from me on a regular basis, general intermittent informational videos from me. 
and one meal a day, informational videos, calisthenics, workout and progression videos and many other different videos to help you go in the direction of achieving and sustaining the body desired fitness levels and the energy levels as well. So if those type of videos sound good to you, make sure you click that subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button, otherwise YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded and I have new ones coming every single day without fail. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic and go and get those gains. Peace.